Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we are going to talk about the tension between um, freeform narrative and mechanical narrative, right? Now, normally when we talk about mechanics, we're talking about rules, right? But I've been thinking a lot about mechanics, and one of the things that I've seen recently, so I'm a very freeform narrative dungeon master, and I will sacrifice, I will change the rules massively. To, to get a fast, clean, interesting, dynamic narrative, right? And I've seen recently that there is a mechanical side to narrative, right? And it is basically, what is the logic of this situation? And what, what, what should happen here logically, right? And I've recently seen a very good example where logic is ignored and the narrative is, the narrative succeeds, okay? And so what I want to talk about now is I want to talk about Netflix's season one of FUBAR starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Fortune Feimster, right? And and how freeform narrative wins and mechanical narrative is rejected and how this made for a fantastic show and is the path forward for every Dungeon Master because we have this same tension between freeform narrative and mechanical narrative. All right, so so let's let's talk about this. Okay, so uh, so first of all, spoilers for Fubar season one, which is the Arnold Schwarzenegger Fortune Feimster show. Okay, so let's talk about this show. So this show is about the CIA, right? And um, and it presents the CIA in a very unique, very cool. Um, Perspective, which is totally new and fresh, right? Because normally I have been writing off espionage. Anything that touches espionage, I'm like, I don't want to see it. It's it sucks. They don't use. They don't talk about real countries, right? They don't. Um, and generally, you know, I'm going to watch people click clack it on type uh, on a on a keyboard, or I'm going to pretend that a keyboard couldn't have solved all these problems, right? And so. So basically, I get this show about the CIA from and Arnold Schwarzenegger's the star and Fortune Feimster's in it. Now, who is Fortune Feimster? If you don't know, Fortune Feimster is a stand-up comedian and she's really smart. I'm a big fan of hers, and 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 actually, I did not expect to like this show. I love this show. It is a really fantastic show, and I highly recommend it to you because of Fortune Feimster. She and Arnold Schwarzenegger does this job great. He's really good in this. He takes the role extremely serious. He this is this was like ten episodes long, right? And he jumps right in and he works hard and does his job, right? And you're like, and actually, I'll tell you right now, a lot of people in Hollywood are not doing their job. Like a lot of people phone in. You see podcasts? Like I, I just saw that Megan Markle, Megan Markle's podcast got canceled because she like she's like, hey, pay me two hundred million for a podcast, and then like, and then I won't turn in any episodes or like. You know, like most of my, my Meghan Markle episode probably will be other people than Meghan Markle talking, right? You know, like it's so like it's a thing, right? Like it's, you know, like a lot of people don't like just showing up and doing your job in, in Hollywood is like a fresh thing. You know, like, you know, like, oh, is we really going to do that? And it's it's really wild. It's, it, you know, so he, he shows up, he does his job. He does it extremely well, right? But Fortune Feimster is this, um, she is a, um, a very unique female stand-up comedian, and she is fantastic in this, but she's, she's shaped like me, right, like, she's pretty much exactly the same size and height as me, right, like, and so, you don't, like, and I'm not, like, action ready, I'm not field ready, right, this CIO show had Fortune Feimster hanging from, like, uh, a swinging seat and shooting in some machine gun from a helicopter, right, and I'm like, Wait, what? Like, she ain't trained for that, right? But that's the point. Mechanically, it made no sense. It was illogical, right? Because Fortune Feimster is not battle ready. She ain't field ready. She ain't trained. Like, and you could tell that from her body. Like, you know, just like you could tell that from my body. Like, you don't want to be putting me on a battlefield anywhere. It's probably not going to end well, right? Like, and so, because I'm just not shaped for it, right? Like, and neither is she. And you could tell. She ain't been, uh, you know, battle training lately. It's just, this is the fact of it. Like, it's just, or in my humble opinion, I shouldn't say it's the fact of it, right? But it was so good, right? And here's the thing. David Weber, 
right? Like, he's this author, and everybody's like, you should read David Weber's stuff. And I'm like, I read two books, right? It's the same crap. And uh, in every book he puts out, ooh, hey, here's a military uh, sci-fi book, and it's going to be exciting. Guess who the lead is? He's six foot tall. He's male. He has lots of muscles, and he's battle-trained, and he doesn't say much. And he's the same dude in every freaking book. We changed the name, but the dude is the same, right? He's battle trained and six feet tall and a dude. And he's got battle training. And he doesn't talk much because he's a grizzled veteran, right? And I'm like, yeah, okay, technically this is right, but it's boring as all get out. I don't want to hear, I don't want to read another book about a, you know, like silent but strong military dude with, you know, like, and I'm like, it's boring, right? And Fortune Feimster is not boring, right? Like, Arnold is there. And I've seen that before. And I want those action scenes, right? But mix it up, man. Like, you know, the freeform narrative is there. And it's not its not mechanically correct. And it's not logically correct. But it's fresh. And it's new. And it works. And it is joyful. And it is innovative. And it is unexpected. Right? And so this is the point. Like... Yes, mechanically what you're saying makes sense for the story, but is it dynamic? Is it joyful? Is it enjoy you know, is does it bore my socks off because logically it's correct, but I've seen it 50 times, right? And I think as dungeon masters we need to do this, right? And I know Hollywood gets, uh, you know, real a lot of pushback for this, right? And they change things, right? But I think you need to change things times and this really works in Fubar. It is extremely innovative. And it was action, it was an action show with people who should not be anywhere near action. And it totally worked. It's fresh, it's joyful, it's unique, and it's good. Right? And that's my point is we cannot be bound servants to um, to mechanical logic in narrative. Narrative needs to be not dynamic and joyful. It needs to be innovative. It needs to be fresh, right? So, yes, right? The reality is, for, you know, it's like you look at Fortune Feimster, uh, you know, shooting a submachine gun, and you're like, that don't look right. But but in every other scene, she crushes it, and she makes the show, and she makes Arnold tired, you know, like, seen it a million times, like, formula fresh, right? Like she puts the hot sauce on the taco, right? Like, you know, um, and I, and I think that's what Arnold's become a, a taco with no hot sauce, right? Like a taco with no spice, right? Cause we've seen it before and we want, and there's good structure there. We want to see it, but you can't see it a hundred times in a row. So do not be a bound servant to mechanical, logical narrative. Adopt freeform narrative. And it's not easy. And it can go south quick, right? But when you look at FUBAR, you're like, this can work. You can make it work. And it can be fresh and good. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.